Hey everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to the Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Hope your weekends have gone off to a great start. I know mine did because we're now sitting at 250 over 270 for TM Trainer Month, which a lot of people are looking forward to. And like I said, it is starting to line up with looks like maybe the beginning of April or maybe going into May. Hopefully not May. I, I mean, if we can get this to April, that would be awesome, especially for an April Fool's Day. That would be quite sick. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Tubbs and KFC. Tile Thread was after trying for this some, for some time now. I think I finally finally deserved it in episode 9, 985. I hereby dub the big time player. Uh, let, let's not let's not get crazy now. Let's it, because the crooked penny paid out one time with like a crazy good play that was done by me by the way. Not not I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying like you know, we need a lot more than just one instance of good redemption there for a full redemption. Uh seed day is going to be 7 Sierra 1 Zulu Gifep. Gifep Gifep. I don't know what I don't know what Gifep is. Gifep sounds like a like a it's like a Japanese sushi restaurant or something. I don't know. Uh, we got the D Infinity. We're also starting off with Dead Dead Bird and uh, Twisted Pear from picking up that late uh, Eden's Blessing yesterday. So yeah, I mean you know D Infinity. We we love it. You know it. I mean it is a fantastic item. You can use it for rolling rocks, rolling enemies. You can roll, re-roll Isaac. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Obviously, the most common use of the D-Infinity is going to be re-rolling an item pedestal with a D6. Um, but if you happen to have, like, bad stats and you're feeling brave, you can go ahead and re-roll with D8, I guess. I wouldn't recommend it, but... No, let's, let's roll with the D10. Just to show you, you can re-roll the enemies as well. Um, and I, I, I absolutely hate those... those uh, Fissure worms, whatever the heck they're called. These are these are way easier to deal with here. Um, and then also, if you wanted to, you can go with the D12 and do this. There we go. And we got a crawl space for some reason, um, but unfortunately, it didn't didn't give us a ladder. Um, we did get a golden poop though, and yeah, oh my goodness, dude, the D the D12 is just so 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 dang good. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I also don't know how the secret room opened. I guess one of the one of the Ipecac worms did that for us, so I mean, I hey, I appreciate it. Um, gotta be careful with the spikes. Obviously, we're only on two HP. We definitely need some more movement speed. Our tears rate is not good. Our damage is eh, damage is okay. Our shot speed is about the only the only stat that's worthy of note. Uh, that is, I would say, above average. Everything else is kind of eh. our movement speed is actually dangerously low, though. So we gotta be careful of that. Wow, we got a dime as well, um, and the crooked uh, the uh, swallow penny. So hmm. We could, we could swallow the swallowed penny with the smelter, and then we can just do that. So now, if we end up getting a full charge here, which is something that we definitely could do, we could swap the D infinity to the D to the D six, and then get ourselves an item, uh, basically a free shop item there. Well, it wasn't free, but you know, it's a it's a second shop item that we can get. And there goes our charge. Awesome. Love these flies. Absolutely love them. <sighs> okay, so we're still going to get it, unless if there's another room with charge flies, and we, we should be able to get a full charge here. And there's a fool's gold. I, we, we don't really need to use a bomb for that. Um, especially, like, when we could potentially get into the super secret room, which is going to be maybe north. I mean, it has to be north of here, actually literally the only place on the map it could be and we get an eternal heart which is great good all right so taking bets let's see if sinvicta remembers to go back to the shop to re-roll it with the d infinity i'm gonna bet i'm i'm just guessing no right now this is current current sinvicta predicting future sinvicta i think that he's going to forget to re-roll the item shop i don't know why it might be because i'm recording this early in the morning it might be because i'm slightly tired uh yeah I know how my brain works. I know I know how futures and Victor works. That guy, that, that guy, that guy's a wild one. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a soul heart. Like we're gonna use the reroll for the shop. We could, in theory, with this extra HP, we could go into the first room, in theory. Um, and I think I will just because like. We're already on the way there. Maybe it could have been worth it. It wasn't. We could also use this Emperor card if we really, really wanted to save that half heart, but I'm not too concerned with it. 
Um, especially since we're getting a free, uh, a second item, not a free item, but a second item out of the shop that we already paid for. We're getting value there. So, you know, that recovers some of the value that we spent with the soul heart. And yeah, so let's go ahead and see what the D sizzle can give us in the shop. Hoping for something good. And that is fantastic. We take a free PhD and it gives us a range up. Okay. All right, game, settle down now. Good, 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 good. So we have a, we have the base of a good start here. We just need to get some stats now. Moving on to last week's question of the episode, I said, what are your thoughts on C session? Is it still worth it? One of the best, or is it not worth the tears down? Uh, or the firing delay. The most upvoted comment came from DNA, who said, oh, it's not one of the best, it is the best, in my opinion. And uh, it's hard to argue with it sometimes. I mean, the C-section tear effect can really carry you just through anything. Uh, like, you just set it and forget it, really. Um, it's, a, it's a tear effect that can hit multiple times. It's one that is super homing. And uh, yes, it does give you a huge fire rate down, but the effects is like it, it increases your shot efficiency and your uptime on damage. That's the big thing is, is your increased uptime. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best, but I have no other I have no other recourse right now. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, the second most upvoted, upvoted comment came in from Vaughn uh, or I'm going to say Vaughn C. I think it's Vaughn C. who said about C-section. Yes. Yes, it is great. And I will always take you should be a, you should be a haiku artist or maybe maybe even a rapper. I don't know, Vaughn. Uh, and last but not least, the third one was the ver third most upvoted comment came in from Mahi Mazi, who said the only downside IMO is a lack of knockback that you get from regular tiers. Other than that, nothing beats C-section. One baby can deal five tier normal tiers worth of damage, and the ramp up is so freaking insane. And yeah, I mean that's that's what we were talking about, right? Like it is it is extremely powerful. Um, we do have the, we did pick up the mulligan. Hive mind would make a lot of sense, but I kind of want to see what this pill is first. Ball of steel, okay, it's gonna give us two soul hearts. Uh, Voodoo Head. I mean, Voodoo Head to me is secondary right now because we've got uh, Hive Mind and uh, and the Mulligan combo here, which would increase our damage by a whole lot. And I don't know if you've been noticing or not, but we don't deal a lot of damage. Um, but going back to C section, I mean, yeah, it is. It, it is just is it is a phenomenal tier effect. Um, my only my only the only downside that I see is just the lack of fire rate. Um, but it's like Vaughn also said, like the or not Vaughn, but. Um, uh, Mahi Mazi said that uh, you know it's a, the lack of knockback. It is a little concerning, um, but to me that's a that's a slight concern. I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I'll even get the swarm as well. Uh, I mean it, it is going to give us two or three for Beelzebub. Since we already have the Mulligan, so an early flying would be amazing. We do have a lot of HP, but not enough for me to really consider playing the Sack Room, especially with the Devil Deal on the horizon here. Secret room is undoubtedly right there, but we have no bomb for it. So that was a big, big pill there with the balls of steel pill, giving us a possibly an extra W item, which could be very good. Again, we need to go back and go pick up a uh, hive mine from the shop. We will go do in a little bit. Yeah, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be switching it up and going to the uh, ask, <coughs> ask Invicta the question of the episode. Um, and the most on-topic, upvoted comments uh, that are asking questions. Those are the ones I'll be reading on next week's episode. So no longer will you see a question of the episode thread. I'm just going to be looking for the question of the episode. Uh, or I might I might still do a thread. I might just type like, hey, like post your question of the episode here. The most upvoted, blah, 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 blah. Going to go in the devil deal here. And uh, we get Pogatory, Headless Baby, and Death's Touch, which... Death Touch is a hard sell here because it gives us it gives us such a huge tears down, but I can't not take it because of piercing. So I'm gonna do that. Reroll the double deal. We get uh, we get nine lives and Eye of Belial. So yeah, we're gonna take Eye of Belial. We're gonna take nine lives, and then we will head back to the shop. Now again, we could in theory we could take uh, and yes, I could have taken nine lives and then Eye of Belial, but I wanted to get red hearts. I didn't want to lose my red heart container. Um, we could play the sacrifice room, but again, that's going to kill, that's going to kill Isaac a lot. Um, so I don't think it's going to be worth it there. We'll take hive mind and we do get the Beelzebub transformation, which allows us to fly. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a free contract from below. Look at us. Contract below is fantastic. It's either going to give you double of something or nothing. 
essentially. Um, and it is a it is a phenomenal carry support item. If you need early game like drops, like keys, bombs, that sort of stuff, it's going to carry you very, very hard, especially if you end up getting uh, getting it comboed with like Humbling Bundle or something like that. So very strong start here, but man, oh man, do we need some help on the tiers rate. Our damage should be kind of sorted. I'm going to just go ahead and check real quick here to see if we can get maybe a bomb to get into the secret room, which is south of here. I don't know why I was saying the S is so... I'm not sure why I said it's so, like, pronounced, like, south of here, the secret room. There we go. So we could go back and get Voodoo Head, but it's supposed to give you better curse rooms, whether it does or not. I don't know. I'd much rather just have a, you know, a better premium item on the next floor. So that's what we're going to do, hopefully. And Curse of the Blind. Well, we got Book of Secrets and the Book of Sin. So if we get a full charge here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the full charge and then get the full charge and then we use uh, the Emperor card and just go straight to the boss and just, just get on out of here. Because, um, you know, Curse of the Blind, Curse of the Blind. But the re reason why I want to use the... I want to get a reroll on the... I cannot believe we didn't take damage there. I want to use a reroll on the library so we can get Bookworm. And maybe, maybe, maybe get a um, a Soul Heart or two out of the, uh, out of like the Book of Revelations or something like that. So, which I would use, by the way, because it is Curse of Blind. So, go back over here and uh, I'll just take a quick peek into the Mob Trap Room. Not really a thing that we care about. Of course, the Eye of Belial, it's going to pass through the initial target and uh, do double damage with the eye, that sort of red eye that kind of floats around all over the place. Um, and the Piercing Shot, of course, is fantastic for us. Hey, this Satanic Bible, we got ourselves Bookworm. Look at that. Monster Manual. I think we just take the Emperor card and just ride it all the way over here. It was going to be the it was going to be Fallen anyway, which is kind of kind of weird, but you know we'll take it. Um, if you're wondering where Botfly came from, we just got it from Monster Manuel. There we go. I mean, you knew something like that was going to happen. And we get Incubus. So seven seals come out to play, and uh, yeah, we need Pluto. As much as I don't like Pluto, we need a tears up, especially now that we have Incubus. We need a soul heart here with uh, us having zero protection for our devil deal, so this is going to work out great. Obviously, we got the planetarium because we skipped the last floor entirely, so that probably helped out our chances of getting an item room. Our planetarium, I should say, because we skipped an item room. Um, I will go check the curse room here just because we have flying, so it's only going to be half price regardless. And the upside is a guppy's paw that I'm going to use immediately. And then now we can come back into the devil, into the curse room and re-roll it and maybe get a miracle guppy again. You remember we do have pH Dizzle, so no point in not taking some pills here. I will bomb this breed as well. Uh, just so we can get a slightly better chance of getting a devil deal here. And uh, yeah, now now that I know that we can bomb our way into the into the uh, curse room here, we're going to do that. Save a little bit of extra health, and we get Goat Head, which is fantastic. Again, for the D Infinity, everything works in tandem. We have the D Infinity that's going to allow us to reroll the Devil Deal items. We can get guaranteed Devil Deal items because we just got Goat Head thanks to the D Infinity. So it's again, it's just one feedback loop of just constant improvement. That's what you want to do on Isaac. Get better. You get better. You get better. Um, you know, and it's going on again, hitting on the concepts that we explored last on uh, the last episode yesterday, the whole butterfly effect thing or chaos theory. I, I don't know what I end up calling that uh, that episode yet. Um, I think chaos theory would be kind of funnier just just because we could probably do. You're probably okay now. Now I know I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it uh, chaos theory because I want to get the Jeff Goldblum uh, reference. On the thumbnail there i'm sure i'm sure alex will have a fun time with that one if you're wondering why these bomb flies are charming by the way it's because we have uh 
We have Beelzebub. They just go friendly. Wow, they didn't explode on... They still didn't explode on Bighorn. We're looking for Guppy. This is not Guppy. And neither is that. But the nice thing about us having the, the goat head now is that we can go back in there and it will still always be open. Um, so we get... We have a... We have a very, very, very strong chance of getting Guppy here. I don't think I've ever seen this room appear so often. And also, uh, where is our shop? And where is our item room? Are they next to each other? Are they next to each other? I bet they're next to each other. They're definitely next to each other. Okay, another tiers upgrade and spectral. So now we have we have piercing and spectral tiers, which is great. And this is a horse pill. I don't know what I don't know what a horse pill perks does, but, but we did it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the Joker card to save us time. I know that seems ridiculous, but I don't want conjoined people off. Oh, that's right. We used it. We, we used the Joker card. Uh, people often ask me, how come I don't take followers and stuff and stuff? Because I just simply don't like followers that much. Um, they contribute to the, to the clown physics, but also more importantly is that I don't really want conjoined. Ironically, this wouldn't, this wouldn't be a bad run to get conjoined on just because we have Eye of Belial. So more, more projectiles and everything, the better. And also we would get uh, rotten baby, which would give us, um, extra flies. So, and we already have. Thank you. We already have um, seven seals, which is whatever. If I if we hadn't gotten blood bag there, I would not be doing this. But I am going to be taking rotten baby, which gives us conjoin, gives us a damage down. But that's okay. Another reason why I do not particularly care for conjoin is because it gives you another stream or actually two streams of damage of uh that you can't control you have to be in control at all times of your damage and uh, you know we saw it even on this run you 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 walk into a room and you're not controlling your outgoing damage you shoot a barrel next thing you know you lose perfection and who knows how that's going to affect your run so you know there there are there are reasons every now and then why i do things here and there i'll take a breath Some people can't handle. They're like, I literally see no downside to. Okay, Her thing there, Poindexter. Except there are there are definitely downsides to a lot of the items that I do not like. And some items I just don't care for, and people will just got to deal with that. There's a lot of people who who get who get uppity about it because like I don't particularly care for an item, and it's like, it's weird that they like kind of like make it their own item. And so they kind of take it personally. I've never, I've never understood that idea. Like I don't, if I don't like, uh, if I don't like, you know, Isaac's heart for whatever. Someone, someone inevitably in the comments will be like, Isaac's heart saved my grandpa during the war. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> that would be amazing though if Isaac's heart did save your grandpa in the war. I would need to see a, I would need to see pictures of that. I think. Keeper sack obviously going to be huge for us, especially with us having a pretty decently strong economy with contract from below. A text message from Mama Victor. I had to see what the preview was. So that's the reason I'm running to the wall right there. It's hard to believe that this is our movement speed after... This is our movement speed after getting blood bag. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind more movement speed. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I am gonna buy both of these just because, again, we have keeper sack. Keeper sack, unfortunately, cannot get us a. Uh, it cannot give us a tears upgrade, but it can give us everything else. So we definitely have plenty of time to make boss rush. Should try to, if we can, maybe find a reroll. Eh. 
I mean, I could. I guess I could have rerolled it in the um, in the shop there. I technically I still can, but my only fear is is getting into the devil deal without having a full charge, or even even worse, going to the boss rush. Because really, only the only thing I'm I'm even caring about right now is getting Guppy. If we get Guppy, then like the stat problems that we have are no more. knockout drops kind of proc everywhere so this is a relatively short depth too i gotta say you know the map looks pretty big i mean we are like crushing things right now but i guess regular mom shouldn't be too difficult i'm gonna take uh i'm gonna take the negative just so we have a little bit of extra damage and we do get guppy so let's take some victor robes and they're basically free anyway. We are going to die, but we get Guppy. We lose the Eternal Heart, but I don't care. Lost Soul Buddy, check him out now. Uh, yeah. It's like we're taking Sack Dagger. All right. So with one HP, we're going to be able to gain access into the boss trap room, which is fine. We would have gotten Guppy anyway uh, without re-rolling or anything. So look at that. Look at us. Oh, it feels like it's been forever since we just had a straight up guppy run. Um, and of course, our tier effects are fantastic. You know, having Eye Belial, having Death Touch, having Ouija Board, giving us a spectral piercing that we all love, we all know and love. Hoping there's a movement speed upgrade in here, or tears up, or Pageant Boy, which I'm just not even going to take. Go back over here and grab the Soul Heart, and I don't. Think. Is there a full charge in here? No, it wasn't. Okay. So grab the full charge and uh, or the uh, soul heart and uh, head on down here. Now I will say this is going to be a little bit tricky going down to Lamb just with the you know the little bit limited HP, but I have confidence. And the fact that we're Guppy, the fact that we don't have to worry about uh, damage anymore, um, especially with us having Hive Mind, we're going to be absolutely roasting things. That's a good good position to be in. Let's see if we can get some movement speed. Now, if I was really, really, really feeling gambly today, which I'm not, I could be rolling with the D8. The D8 could potentially give us a much better uh, run here, but it could also potentially give us a much more more bad run <laughs> Right much more bad um, Typically if given the opportunity to screw you the d8 will do so so Don't give it the chance. That's what the that's what the moral was. Just don't give the don't give it the chance to screw you uh, There are there are way more rocks in the other room. I'm I'm going to go back and reroll with the d12 The rocks over meow. I knew that was going to happen the second I took my eye off the screen to see where the D12 was. Freaking knew it. I mean, it doesn't matter because like we don't lose the W anyway, but still, it's like, come on, man. Oh, that was a trash reroll there. A rare miss for the D12. Here's that. Mercifully, thankfully. Some shot speed as well, which is great. Speed up. My goodness, for PH Dizzle. Okay, now we're starting to feel good about ourselves here. Seeker room should be here, I think. No, it's not. It's surprising. Okay. Kind of freaked me out a little bit there. That bloat just flew right to the top of the screen. I'm not going to re-roll that because we might we might get a lump of coal here. Maybe, I guess. That wasn't the original reason why I wasn't going to re-roll it. I was going to wait till we see what was in the devil deal. Marbles is okay, but uh, blood clot's a little bit better, especially with our increased fire rate now.
check out the vault real quick here. Ironically, we might, if, depending on how much HP we have, or we'll get have a devil deal here, we might go see old Hushy for some strategical stats here, thanks to Keeper Sack. Let's see, we we have to see. Oh my gosh, we got to see where our, where our HP lies, though. So we go from in one floor, we go from being like slower than molasses on a cold day to we've got almost max movement speed. The only problem with Pluto is that it's very easy to lose control of Isaac on the screen. I'm just going to leave it at that. Are your coin trying to make a fool out of me? I'm not going to let it happen. Luck upgrade here. Hey, there we go. There's your requisite full clear for the day, everybody. High five, high five. Happy Saturday. We did it. Oh, yeah. We got to do this, don't we? I guess I could have checked to see if there was a secret room there, but... Actually, no. It was here. So we would have been able to get out of there had I just checked, but... I mean, what are the odds that the secret room was going to be there? It's not not good. If for some reason we hadn't been able to get out of there, then obviously I would have checked it. That could have been lethal had we had we run out of bombs. Actually, we had plenty of bombs. So, still looking for the boss room here. And this will basically determine our, if we go to hush or not. Alternatively, we could go to Hush anyway and go get the Soul Hearts in there, but... Yeah, this is not... Maybe we could take Dark Prince's Crown because it's just going to be active. But I don't think that it would be wise to go fight Hush on 1 HP here. Not without the Polaroid. Polaroid and Wafer, that is. Because obviously we'd still be one shot there with Hush, and we still got we still have to fight Lamb. That's another thing too is that we we need to we need to beat Lamb here. We're gonna leave that Eternal Heart. Never mind. We'll take Fat on Mushroom, which is gonna give us HP. Now I have the confidence to to roll with the Eternal Heart. More shot speed, which we actually don't need, but I would absolutely take an Emperor card if we get one. So many flies that we we will just insta merc anything that gets in our way here. <laughs> the soul suckers end up turning friendly because of uh, hive mind or Beelzebub, I should say. We have a sack room, but again, we don't have enough HP to really make use of it. And it's starting to feel like the wrong way to go. There goes our eternal heart. Nora's box is guaranteed to give us a devil deal, I think. Devil deal item. This is going to give us two soul hearts. We could re actually re-roll that. But we're about to get the re-roll in the dark chest, so... And I don't want to go back here and, and clear a uh, shoal, which I guess technically we, we wouldn't have to, but... You get a hermit card, which does give you a random teleport. And we've seen hermit cards go off in the past, so yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for a hermit card. Take us to the promised land. There's a lot of that is a lot of hearts for the sacrifice room, admittedly. But that's just one of those things that we just don't need. You know, we don't need to be playing a sacrifice room this late in the game. What we need to do, be doing is stacking HP. And uh, not taking dumb damage. Cure this dub. Oh, okay. 
Settle down there, Stanley. All right, let's see what the dark chest gives us here. Hopefully something amazing. I can't th really think what we need other than just damage and tears rate. So, bloody gust. Uh, sack altar. Uh, we could potentially get rid of... Um, no, it won't get rid of, of little harbingers. I remember trying. I remember it failing. Yeah, we can take thunder thighs. Okay, and um, Hermit Card took us one room to the right, and it was a dead end. So, thank you, Hermit Card. I found hills. Nice. Answer, which is going to give us a wafer effect. So now, if we find any sacrifice rooms on the uh on the victory lap then absolutely take them i don't care about vasculitis in fact i don't like vasculitis because it makes it look like uh, tears are shooting at you when in fact they're not for some reason the vasculitis tears like to go straight at isaac sometimes and it could inadvertently cause you to, to dodge into an actual tear that's going to hurt you we don't want that okay got bounced into strange attractor so Good. And we've gone to a dead end. All right. All right. Never fails. And we have so many soul suckers. They go off. They're going to one shot everything. By the way, another dead end. Low, 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 low. How we do. Okay. Um, did that, did that famine just appear on the other? You know what? I'm not even going to ask questions. Pretty sure I saw that famine teleport from one side to the other, but I, I'm, I, my mind might be playing tricks on me. Here we go. I goes land absolutely. I can see Victor Zero Seven Hotel Eight Three Whiskey Charlie. First thing unknown to start with. Not that that's a huge deal here. So we have some opportune moments here to really ball out of control. Now we just need to get more damage, more tears, more damage, more tears. Here's more damage or money, which is going to be great for Keeper's Sack because then we can just buy everything out. Back to what I'm doing right here. And reroll this and get started. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to get more tears up. In fact, I hadn't seen any tears ups in the, in the pill pool. So this will also allow us to carry two Emperor cards if we end up finding some. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Actually, there was a there's an opportunity for a trick there that I haven't used um, in quite a while. Uh, if I remember correctly, anyway, if you beat. If you have the D6 and you beat mom, or you beat the floor, the first floor, in under a minute, you hear Isaac's mom say Isaac, and then she, you hear running along the floor. If you bomb in the boss room, the broken shovel will fall down, which is part of the forgotten unlock. But if you walk out of the room and walk back in, the broken shovel becomes an item pedestal, which then you can re-roll with the D6. Take card reading here, because you know I love it. D1 Hizzle.
And we do have a sacrifice room here. Remember, we've got the cancer effect as well, which means that we're going to take full damage initially. And then after that, we're going to take half damage. So we really don't have to worry about sacrifice rooms at all anymore. That one's going to be full price, and then now everything is, until we get, unless if we get teleported, is going to be subsequently half price thanks to the waiver effect. So we absolutely will be getting a payout here of something. We don't know what, but we can at least do this to completion. I don't know if we're going to be able to get, we're going to, no, we're, the full charge, the full charge dream is dead here. That's fine. Unless there was one in the shop. There was one in the shop. Never mind. Go back there and fight uh, Gabriel real quick, and we can get two extra item pedestals here with a D sizzle. I like this. It does a lot. I hate it. I, I hate it a lot. Our shot speed is out of control. 1.86. Good lordy. It is flying. Take that red portal, which goes straight to the boss. And remember, we don't have to worry about getting a full charge on the D Infinity for now for our double deal because we're always going to have a way of getting back in. Sanguine Bond is Sanguine Great. So, let's just go ahead and, okay, he's gone. Wait. Yeehaw's got nine lives. So, what I'm doing here is I am, originally I was going to try to sacrifice Yeehaw for uh, some HP, but he only has, he only has one life. And he also has nine lives, apparently. Hey, look at that. That's says Jupiter, as you can plainly tell. So we're just gaining more damage here thanks to Penguin Bond, and this is just this is just free real estate right here for damage. Now obviously we have Bloody Lust, so some of that is coming from the Bloody Lust buff. But if we keep getting these soul hearts, I mean, we're gonna we're just gonna keep getting more and more taps here on Sanguine Bond, and there's no limit to what you can get out of Sanguine Bond. You can literally, as long as you have the HP for it, you can keep on hitting it. That's exactly what we're doing. We're just getting uber damage here. Well, that Bumbo is just taking in all of our all of our money that we've earned. Very typical bumbo behavior. The sun card. The, sun. the Hierophant. The Hierophant. Pretty sure Hee Haw just took that from us, so you know what, Hee Haw, you are done. Queen of Hearts, two of Hearts. Justice. First Justice gives us a bunch of, of chests in here. I was hoping that we were going to get some more item pedestals, but what can we do? Okay. Got a long way to go back to the shop. Now, we could play Sanguine Bond more, but I don't think we need to. We're pretty much sorted on this run. Get rid of the Queen of Hearts. Look at that. We do have a sack room, too. Wow. We are getting majorly hooked up. Sad Onion's going to max out our tiers. If you're wondering why our tiers rate is 8 and not something like, say, oh, I don't know, 5, it's because, remember, we've got Bloody Gust, which is increasing the amount of tiers that we have before the tier cap kicks in. Um, so our tiers cap is still 5, but right now it shows 8 because we have the full might of Bloody Gust. I'm going to buy everything here just to get some more stats with Keeper Sack, because why not? There we go. And I'm going to take the D and Fizzle. Now we can go into the Cursed Room. 
to eventually make our way into the sacrifice room. Per throw, per throw is fine. I know I just cost us one soul heart there. I don't really, I don't really mind dying here, honestly, because if we get back to a red heart, um, we can continue to heal ourselves. Uh, although we don't have the, we don't have the, the, the cancer effect, so maybe I should have cared about the soul hearts. We're back in the devil deal, which we could have gotten back into anyway. I'm just gonna re-roll this. Eh, Guppy's tail is fine. Earth throw. We do, we do not need another another bloody gust. Okay. I see you, game. See what you're doing. Uh. He might be. No. A little bit of a bummer. We're not going to be able to get into all the taps with uh, the sack room there, but. Yeah, I should I should have held on to those soul hearts. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to cost us the dub here. Oh, man. A tiny planet. Tiny planet's about to make this go crazy. Um, take the range upgrade and use the Joker card to get out. And look at that. It's our boy, Jello. We don't... The thing is, we don't need Jello on this run. Talk about things we need and don't need. One thing we don't need is Jello. We have plenty. I mean, plenty of ways to deal damage here. I didn't, I didn't get that because we have uh, we got a tiny planet. And, or, I'm sorry. We have um, Thunder Thighs, which is causing us to destroy rocks. And I didn't want to lose a life to mushrooms. But then we blew ourselves up because we are not in control of all of our outgoing damage. Surprise, surprise. And that's kind of what I was talking about. You just You have to be careful about adding extra shots. Now, the real thing that's killing us right now is the fact that we have Strange Attractor. Strange Attractor is literally killing us because all it's doing is drawing in enemies. And that's compounded by the fact that we have Tiny Planet, which is stacking the Strange Attractor buff or debuff, depending on how you want to look at it, um, on enemies. So it's just pulling them in even closer to an absurd degree. But look at this storm of death that we have right now. Sebo, we don't care about Joker. Take the Soul Heart, of course. So we'll take Tarot Cloth, of course. Also take the World Card, of course. And I'll take Voodoo Head. Not <laughs> Joker, which we do not need. Okay, so we have mom's coin purse, or mom's purse, rather. Room is most likely there. Not. I'm actually really shocked that it's not there. Super dead frail. Now, if we really wanted to, we could take Jello, but we don't have the four, four and a half volt or anything. I'm gonna take him anyway, just to add to the absurdity here. And because you know it's Jello. I mean, come on, come on. We don't need the D Infinity anymore. Uh, yeah, give me the item room. Oh, Chad. Oh my gosh. This amount of 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 draw in with <laughs> strange attractor and all these shots from tiny planet mixed in with like shots from jello is uh dangerous we're essentially like attracting the entire world to us right now as soon as we walk in a room things are things are going to be attracted okay 
Remember, remember what I was talking about? Like we need to not take stupid damage. We're taking stupid damage right now. But let's let's cut that out, game. Little golden chest because it's double gold and nothing. Already set on bombs. That right there is all strange attractor. I don't know where that chest went. In my mind, it's already gone. It's it's gone forever. There it is. Uh, this is going to give us an increased fire rate, which is not something that we need at this point, but I'll go ahead and take it. We get, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll take... We'll take double double jello. Well, what is this? Oh, we have pyro we have pyromaniac Dr. Fetus, y'all. Oh no, lost soul buddy, oh no. So I decided that I wanted to take a chance. And I was like, you know what? Let's just use the temperance, the reverse temperance card once. The problem is that I forgot that we had Feral Claw. Um, but we re-rolled into something even crazier now. Because we have polyfe or we have Proptosis, Dr. Fetus, Magic Mush, uh Pyromaniac, and also we're on an XL floor. So yeah, and the thing is, is that our our base stats are so high because of keeper sack that we don't lose those on rerolls. So this is insane, and we have crown of light too, which is also giving us a huge boost in our damage. And hey, look at that, buddy in a box, buddy, you did it, you're in. Sure, why not? Big old range up. Not that it matters because we have tech two. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we we just rolled into, but we lost nine lives. We're still guppy, I think. If we're not guppy, we're definitely Beelzebub. Uh Does Montezuma's work with Dr. Fetus? Is not. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, yeah, this is this is all bad. But I will take I will take Buddy in a box, Buddy. Mister Me, if you could just let us out, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's right. You forgot your old buddies and Victor discovered that, didn't you? That's right. So many years ago, your buddies Invicta was the first to discover that Mr. Me could get you out of boss rush. I don't know how many years ago that was. That was a long time ago. These are just kind of exploding, and we're not sure exactly how or why. I'm kind of liking it, though. Obviously, with Dr. Fetus and uh, Pyromaniac, we have literally nothing to worry about. As long as we have Red Heart, uh, Red Heart containers to fill, we can just heal ourselves infinitely while also dealing just ridiculous bomb or ridiculous damage. Um, I am going to take the Conquest Pony just for a little bit of extra oomph. If the Oh Crap transformation, which is one that you don't see that often either. But obviously, with Crack the Skizzle here on Conquest Pony, that's just going to give us even more killing power. Oh no, lost soul, buddy. Oh no. I mean, things are coming to us while we're just simply trying to get through a door, and they're still dying. Actually, really surprised the secret room is not there. Whoa. We have the broken stopwatch, or did we take an I'm excited pill or something? Got 
she died immediately. Uh, let's go check out. Says, hey, how you doing, little sissy? Checking out nothing. We got little sissy now. How long has it been sissy? Hey, Gimby here. We don't have to keep her sack anymore, so we don't have to buy everything. Uh, we are totally immune to... Uh, we're totally immune to explosions, so we have to worry about troll bombs anymore. And let's just see what kind of damage we got rolling here. A lot of bombs. A lot of homing bombs. Do we have Sacred Heart? Hang on. Why are our tears white? There's Pyro. SMB Super Fan. We do have Sacred Heart. Wow. What a hell of a reroll that uh, that Temperance Machine was. A reverse Temperance card was. I was wondering why they were looking so white and powerful. That was like, man, that is, that is an insane reroll. Considering that what, from what we came from to where we are now, that is nuts. By the way, if you don't know how I did that, by the way, by the way, by the way, if you're on if you're on keyboard, uh, just go to the escape menu and then just use the left and right uh, keys. The same, the same, whatever keys you use to fire, that's the one. That's how you shift the uh, the inventory that you see. Go straight to Isaac. This this run is ready for this to be over. I don't blame the game. This was this was just dirty. You're absolutely one hundred percent crushing it right now. Oh no, I saw buddy on oh no. Got sissy. Poker chip definitely sounds like something that should be in Balatro. Speed up. We're already capped on speed. Hey, this is just oh, this is just pure unadulterated chaos right here. So in a, in a really crazy way, our reroll ended up being better than the not reroll. Kind of hoping that we were going to be able to uh, just lay down all the bombs and detonate them all at once. Yeah, it's not. It is crazy that we rerolled into something even more powerful than that last run that we had. I, if you would have told me that, like, hey, you're going to accidentally reroll and it's going to be even better than what you had, I would say there's no way. Absolutely no way. But here we are. What a reroll that was. So thank you for watching, everybody. Wow. Seriously, insane run. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Have a great Saturday. Remember, uh, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a question of the episode, except where you get to ask me the questions. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably make a thread just to keep everything concise and everyone can just see the collection of questions there. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Luke, Lucas Wagner, and Daniel Lynch. If you'd like to have your name read, read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.